Hi everybody, Keith Abraham. Um, see, I've got the flip chart set up from this morning's webinar where I spoke about uh, reset your goals, uh, refocus on your routines, and, uh, and review your mindset. I wanted to continue that theme a little bit in today's video. I want to talk a little bit about revamp. And I want to talk in particular about these four topics. You see, here's what I do know. As you're starting to uh, bunker down at home, starting to work more from home, what tends to happen is people take their workflow into their home flow. You know, at work, you've got a structured environment, you've got the desk set up at home. It's, you might have kids around now uh, because they're home from school. You might be homeschooling kids even now if you're in the UK. Um, and you're a little bit restricted in what you can and can't do or where you can go and what you can do as your normal everyday routine. So let me get you to think a little bit about this. What do you need to do differently at home so you can get into flow? You know, no flow, no go. And so what do you need to do to, at, in your home environment now? Because you might have your partner working from home as well and you have to do shifts. Someone's got to look after the kids. Someone's got to do the, the tele uh, calls, teleconferences, whatever it may be. The other thing is, is you, if you run a team of people, what are you doing to help them, equip them to get into flow in their role? Are you having this conversation? It's not business as usual, and it's not gonna be business as usual for a little while. So maybe this becomes the new norm. So how do you help your team get into flow? Do, have they got a, uh, you know, uh, a place in their office in, at home where they've got their objectives written out? H have you encouraged them to say, just have three goals each day? And, and, and what happens, some people love working in isolation, other really miss this opportunity to connect socially. So you wanna be looking at how you can help your team go through this period by helping them revamp how they work. The other thing I wanna talk about is revamping your home. You know, you're in close quarters now, a lot more with your kids, and, and for some people that's fantastic, and others it's like, wow, I just didn't know you know, I can handle it on the weekend, how do I handle it on a day-to-day -day basis? So you have to sort of like revamp how you operate at home with your partner, how you operate in your apartment with your flatmates or whatever it might be. And the final piece around routines. Now more than ever, you need to have rituals and routines. People create rituals, rituals form futures. So you need to have to get, you need to get really clear on what are those routines you need to put in place now so that you are mentally, physically, and emotionally ready to rebound when things do get back to the new normal. So what is it that you need to do? What are you doing for your, what's your health routine at the moment? Maybe you can't go out and socialize with people. What can you do at home? Mate, what's your mental routine? What are you reading? What projects are you working on? What are you developing? So that when th this does pass over, that you're ready to get back into it and you're not gonna take a month or two months to get back into it. And I think the other piece, so we've got physical, we've got mental, emotional. You see, a lot of people get anxious. They get overwhelmed because they don't feel like they've got control but you have to be 100% focused on controlling the controllables. You have to pick a mindset. You have to pick, a, if you wanna go through change successfully, you have to be courageous. If you wanna go through everything around you and come out the other side, then you have to be tenacious. If you wanna make sense of all of this, you've gotta be grateful. So you have to pick the mindset that you need. And with every cell in your body, Live it, breathe it, think it. If every cell in your body believed that you were courageous, what would you do differently? How would you walk? How would you talk? How would you think? What would you say to others? What would you say to yourself? So I wanted to just get you to think a little bit about what you need to do, what you need to revamp. Anyway, just some food for thought. Um, thanks very much for watching as always. If I can do anything for you, shoot me off an email, keith at keithabraham.com.au. Enjoy your weekend. Look forward to talking to you real soon. Bye now.